Let me tell you how they trick you into a mundane life. They give you something called freedom. That's not the same as freedom. Freedom is spelled F-R-E-E dash D-U-M-B. And that's all about giving you freedom in the areas that don't count, or they're gonna give you everything that makes you dumb is gonna be provided to you for free. So it sort of has two definitions. And again, it's spelled F-R-E-E dash D-U-M-B. And this is how they can trick you into living the life they want to make you live instead of the life you are destined to live. And it's sad because your human potential is going to be incinerated inside the free dumb plan where every sort of bit of freedom you're given is in the areas that don't count. And so many people today, unfortunately, not because they're defective, they're using their real freedom wrong. Like I went on a whale watching cruise about three days ago, and you can see the result of the social engineering. I mean, there is people on that boat, 250 pounds, 300 pounds, and there's a reason why there's no lion farms as well. <laughs> and this, should, this is another good story people should process, is that you can't farm lions, you can only farm lambs. So if you wanna destroy a culture or a person or a family, you gotta make them unable to defend themselves as well. That's why, you know, humans, for you know, making it easy on themselves, they'll farm chickens or, or cows. So I mean, we use this knowledge all the time. We don't farm lions because it would be absolutely insane because they're so strong and they have a good chance of killing you, <laughs> as equal a chance of killing you as you would have of killing them. I mean, lions are very powerful. It's not good to farm strong animals if you're in the farming business because it's quite dangerous. And again, this is why humans like to farm chickens and cows and weaker animals so that they, so there's no pushback, there's no resistance. And these people on this whale watching tour, so out of shape, so incapable of defending themselves. But again, not born like that socially engineered to be like these people are sitting ducks and they're using their freedom wrong. They're given freedoms in the areas that don't count. And that's how you can trick the human nervous system to believe like, I'm really free. So they could have Doritos or they could have Frito-Lay or they could have you know, Jim Bean or Jack Daniels or so they give you these choices. So you think you're free, but every choice you make is destroying yourself. You can, you know, you can watch TV or go out on the, you know, on the whale watch, or you can go watch a movie or, you know, you can do something else, but you're, you're never really educating yourself you're not making yourself stronger you can have burger king or mcdonald's and people think this is a really amazing spot i want to go to america i want to go to the west i want to migrate from my area over to the west and i don't know if people are aware either a little side story <laughs> that, that's uh, so many immigrants are actually leaving canada today <laughs> because it's so like it's so obvious what's going on there is you know it's a dream of <laughs> once you get to canada or even some of these other western countries you're going to see you know it's this is what it is it's this free dumb plan 
whatever you get free from the government, it makes you overweight, it makes you sick, it makes you powerless, and makes you easier to farm. And that's this is the only freedoms you got. This A or B or C or D, or choose, you know, walk left, walk right. And it's the same story all the time. You just end up out of shape, broke, sick, diseased, stressed out. And we're all sort of trauma victims in this way. I've really come to the peace in my life, a little bit more peace. I'm a trauma victim as well, but I've come to a little bit more peace, understanding everybody in the society is a trauma victim. And that doesn't give them carte blanche, get out of jail free card to sit around and do nothing with their lives. But it will help you understand what's really good, you know, how people react and how they act and their addictions and things along that line. Because we've all been abused systematically since the first day we've been born because someone figured out a long time ago before we were born, like thousands of years ago, that controlling humans and extracting their energy, extracting their labor, their value, their, you know, their work energy, it's just best to keep them traumatized. And from the first day a child's born, or they say on the seventh or eighth day, whatever that sort of religious nonsense is that circumcises a child, I mean, don't forget, they'll go at the men too. Traumatize the men. They gotta traumatize the men because the men are the real lions of the society. So again, if you're gonna weaken a society, you gotta go at the men. That's why men are circumcised. If you do your research on circumcision, you'll see that is true. So they're gonna give you all these freedoms in the areas that don't count. And every time you make a decision between, you know, your Burger King for sandwich and your Egg McMuffin. And you're thinking, oh, look at all the choice I have. I love it. <laughs> you're getting completely destroyed. So you're going to have to get empowered, get independent. You're going to have to make some different moves, move against the crowd. And your body will tell you if you're going in the right direction or not. You know, if your signs of malnutrition, poisoning, toxic lifestyle, you know, you get to cellulite, extra weight gain, behavioral problems, your body will let you know. If you need more inf free information like this, get on my email list. Email me at info at jchristoff.com. I'll get you on my list. This is Jason Christoph signing out.